See, there are two types of modes of operation in the control system. One is the negative feedback and second is the positive feedback. See the definition of negative feedback. A feedback which operates through the system and act against the stimulus which brings the change in variable. There are a lot of mechanisms operating in the body as examples of negative feedback system. More than 99% of the control system in the body are operating through negative feedbacks. You see the examples, blood pressure control, blood volume, heart rate regulation, body temperature and so many mechanisms are in the negative feedback mode. As I told you, there are so many mechanisms in the body which are operating through a negative feedback system. Majority of the hormones are well regulated in the body through negative feedback. One example as you see here, the thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormone is one of the very important hormone which is responsible for the maintenance of many body functions. This particular thyroid hormone is regulated through an efficient negative feedback mechanism. As you see there in the frame, you have an axis called hypothalamo-hypophysial thyroid axis. That means you are having a long axis of operation starting from the brain, the hypothalamic nuclei, then below that you have hypophysis, otherwise called as pituitary gland, below that you have thyroid gland in the neck. Hypothalamus secretes an important hormone called thyrotrophin releasing hormone. It is abbreviated as TRH. This TRH will come through the bloodstream and it acts on the anterior pituitary or otherwise called adenohypophysis. Adenohypophysis in response to this TRH secretes thyroid stimulating hormone otherwise called TSH. And what this TSH does? The TSH will enter into the bloodstream and through the bloodstream it acts on the thyroid follicles. So TSH is responsible for the synthesis of thyroid hormone and its release. The level of thyroid hormone like T3 and T4 is well maintained by the action of TSH. When there is a decrease in the thyroid hormone level in the blood, definitely the negative feedback system operates so that more TRH will be secreted from hypothalamus. In response to that, more TSH will be secreted from adenohypophysis and thereby the thyroid gland is stimulated. On the contrary, if the thyroid function is having a lesser degree, less hormone synthesis coming from thyroid gland, what will happen? There will be an increase in the activity coming from hypothalamo hypophysial axis. When the thyroid hormone level is increased, on the other side, the hypothalamo hypophysial axis will get suppressed. So this is a true example of negative feedback through which thyroid hormone level in the blood is well maintained. Mind you, it's so crucial for the maintenance of body functions. Now see the definition of positive feedback. A feedback which is operating through the system to increase the intensity of the stimulus. Compared to the negative feedback mechanisms, the number of positive feedback system or mechanisms are less in the body. These are the examples you can put forward as typical examples for positive feedback. Number one, the blood coagulation. Number two, neuroendocrine reflex like parturition reflex or milk letdown reflex and opening of sodium channels in the genesis of action potential. Of this, the easiest to example one can understand is the parturition reflex. As you see there in the frame, you can see the gravid uterus, the baby is inside the uterus and it is about to get delivered. What's happening immediately before the parturition act? The baby descends down because of the contraction of uterus from above. As you see there in the animation, the baby is descending down. And what happens to the lower segment of the uterus there? The lower segment of the uterus distends out to accommodate the baby coming down. The distended lower segment of the uterus gives a neuronal signal back to the hypothalamus which is the center for the secretion of a very important hormone called oxytocin. And this oxytocin is released in response to the stretch of the uterus of lower segment. Oxytocin through the bloodstream, it comes back to the uterus. And where this oxytocin acts? 
oxytocin acts on the upper segment of the uterus. And once upper segment of the uterus contracts further, the baby further descends down. So the descent of the baby stimulates the oxytocin release and oxytocin further increase the descent of the baby by inducing contraction of upper segment of uterus. So here you, you can see that the stimulus is getting augmented or stimulus is getting amplified by the feedback signal. So this is a true example of a positive feedback. But how long this positive feedback or this vicious cycle operates till the intrauterine baby is completely expelled including the placental delivery. And once the complete delivery occurs, this positive feedback system or positive feedback mechanism stops and that will prevent further release of oxytocin from the hypothalamus.